why is it every time I get hooked onto other TV shows besides the TV shows I watch, they either get taken off the air without any questioning or they just get flat out canceled. In this case, it was flat out canceled. <laughs> Life Sentence stars Lucy Hale, Elliot Knight, Jason Blair, Carlos Penavega, and Dylan Walsh. And this was a CW TV series that aired from March to June 15th of this year. And unfortunately, like I said in the intro, this got canceled way too early. Way too early. Maybe because, and I, just like the HBO TV series Venue, which came on in 2016, that got canceled for no reason. So what's the story of this show? Well, we have a girl named Stella Abbott, and she receives a diagnosis of terminal cancer. Um, terminal, terminal cancer. Sorry about that. She decides that she will not go gently into the good night and throws caution to the wind by living like there's no tomorrow. So basically she's hanging out and she basically gets married to, to this guy, which is basically Elliot Knight. So we're looking at we look we have an interracial relationship in a comedy drama TV show. And also, fortunately, that decision comes back to bite to her when she, when doctors inform her that her her cancer has been cured miraculously, and leaves good news tainted by the fact she now has to deal with the fallout from all things she did when she thought she was dying and all the family drama stuff. <laughs> <coughs> this show was great. <clears throat> this show was awesome. I do have two gripes with the show, and as I feel like these two gripes, one of the gripes is that I felt like some of the some of the stuff that the show deals with with the character of Stella. With all the freaking craziness there to, I felt like that was kind of like <clears throat> questionable. <laughs> then I felt like <coughs> some of the other writing was um some of the writing is is kind of. Like weird, weirdish in a lot of ways in some of the some dialogue, but I will say that you do get some good heartfelt moments, you get some good funny moments, and you get some good dramatic moments in the show too. And that's why I really think the show points out with the message is that live, live, live life while you can, live with heart, and um. And also, we also have to learn with the, some of the choices that Stella and her family dealt with, with some of the choices they made to help her enjoy with her last thought you were her last years. But it's pretty, it's a pretty entertaining show for the most part. Let me just say, I really, I really liked the acting in in the show. the The acting was great. The narration from Lucy Hale is great, and I love the I love the narration. I love Lucy Hale's performance in here. She may have shorter hair, share shorter hair for this show, but even with shorter hair, I'm just sitting there saying, "You're you're still gorgeous. You still you still you still beautiful." <laughs> and besides, Lucy Hale is beautiful. I know some people were not a fan of Truth or Dare. 
but I really liked I liked True Fedora's Guilty Pleasure despite my, despite my my little problems I had with it, and I also enjoyed another movie with her in it, which was a Netflix film. And I'll get to it. And I really, I really thought that I was into it. I was into this. It was a very. It was. A, it, it was. I, I was into it because when I saw the advertisements, I was like, okay, this is, yeah. But then I was into. I'm into to TV shows like this. I'm into TV shows like Vineyard and Firefly. And you know what? This is on my. This is gonna be on my list of top. The top of TV shows that got canceled way too early. Way too early. You cancel shows like this and Ven- Venual, but but yeah, it took so freaking long for the Oxygen Network to take off Bad Girls Club. Thankfully, it's off. Thank it's off. Thank you. Thank God. I'm not disrespecting anybody who likes Bear Girls Club. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. I had to say it. But the rest of the acting is great from Elliot Knight and Jason Blair and Brooke Lyons and Carlos Penavega and Dylan Walsh. The performances were great on the show. I like the. I like the camera tricks they did. I like the the cinematography. It's, it's stuff. Just the show. I really like the message it was bringing. I like what the story, stories they were telling in all 13 episodes. I wish this would stay on the air for a second season. But unfortunately, because not many people were into it. Just like Vinyl. It got in Firefly. It got the boots, but yet, t- uh, TV show the TV shows I don't give a crap about. It gets stays on the air. It's a shame. That's a darn shame. Some of you people out there, you don't know what a good TV show is. Show is if it, if it girl slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, you don't know what a good TV show is if it can't if it came at you, because you ask why don't we get good TV shows like like the, I'm gonna say because half the time you either don't watch them or you just don't care about them. I will give. Life sentence because of the acting, because of the stories they were telling each episode, because of the heart and soul that the show has. Also, I forgot to mention my good friend John Avenger seven one nine eight five. He is a fan of Lucy Hale, so if you're a fan of Lucy Hale, you're gonna. You're, I'll just say that I'm not gonna say where which episodes, but she dresses in, in awesome stuff. Awesome costumes. So. I will give this show. An epitastic. Let me know what you guys think of Life Sentence Season. Well Life Sentence down below. Because it's not getting another season. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Future Filmmaker 3940 signing out. And you guys keep it cool.